This video will guide you through the basics of setting up and using your 4Runner 235 for the first time. Before your first run, you want to be sure your watch is fully charged. Just plug the included USB cable into your computer and clip the charger onto your watch. The 4Runner 235 uses sensors to read heart rate at the wrist, giving you the option to run without a heart rate strap. To get the most accurate heart rate reading, make sure the watch face is placed above your wrist bone. Secure the band snugly around your wrist. The first time you turn on your watch, it will ask you a few setup questions so you can select your language preference and set up your user profile. Now, let's take a look at the keys and basic functions on your watch. The power key turns the backlight on and off. Press and hold to turn the watch on or off. The key on the upper right with the runner icon starts and stops the timer. It also acts as the enter key when you need to select a menu option or acknowledge a message on screen. Use the lap key on the lower right to manually mark a lap time when running. When the timer is not running, this key functions as a back key to return to a previous screen. On the lower left, the up and down arrow keys are used to scroll through data screens and menu settings. Once you've scrolled to the option you want using the arrow keys, simply press the runner icon key to select it. Your Forerunner uses GPS signals, so you need to be outdoors for it to get satellite reception. When the satellite bars turn green, your watch is locked on and ready to go. Okay, now we're ready to head out for a run. Press the runner icon key to start the timer and get going. The timer screen shows your distance, time, and current pace. Press the down arrow key to see additional data such as your heart rate. To stop the timer, press the runner key. If you're just taking a break and want to keep going, select resume. When your run's done, press the down arrow key, then press the runner icon key. This saves your run and resets the timer. The summary screen will appear, showing your stats for that run. And if you hit any personal records, like your fastest mile or longest run to date, your watch will show those too. The Forerunner 235 can also be used indoors with its built-in accelerometer to measure pace and distance. To use the accelerometer, simply select the Run Indoor Activity Profile, which by default turns off GPS. Indoors or out, if you want to share or compare your workout numbers with friends or family members, you can also pair your Forerunner 235 with your compatible smartphone and gain access to a wide range of smart features, including voice call and text notifications, automatic data uploads for online sharing, live track, and much more. To make that happen, start by downloading the Garmin Connect mobile app onto your smartphone. You'll create an account and accept the user terms. Then, on your Forerunner, go to the main menu. Select Settings, then Bluetooth, then Pair Mobile Device. Then, on your phone, enable Bluetooth and follow the on-screen prompts to complete the pairing process. Once successfully paired, you can use the Garmin Connect mobile app to manage Connect IQ apps, enable audio alerts, and manage other settings on your Forerunner.